Oh, hi, John. Hi. Hi, Steph. Hello. What is that? Little? Oh, that was a little church and a little steeple? Because it looked like, like that? Something no, that's a little looked. something I do uh, to I, make. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. You remember, Steph. You remember. Making you, the lesbians. You remember Minneapolis. That's going mm. to make the lesbians crazy, too. Whatever oh, that, that thing little is. trick of my finger, okay. yes. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, yes. I do hi. remember Minneapolis. Hey, listen. <laughs> what? What the what the? I, I You know, we are talking. What a week, huh? Yeah. Well, you, uh, I'm just, we were ta- doing the parallels between the right wing here and the right wing in Russia. And you said abortions, universal health care, gun control, LGBT rights, labor unions, high taxes to pay for social programs, women in combat. Then call your Republican representative and demand we end all foreign aid to Israel. Thank you. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you calling them out. The hypocrites on the right. They got them. You know, there's, there's grandmas in Ukraine who are having to make Molotov cocktails right now to fight off an invading Russian army. And we've got the flu trucks clan whining that they don't want to be slaves by wearing masks they're not mandated to wear anymore. That's the difference. Did you, and one of the truckers quit because he said three young girls in a Prius gave him the finger and he actually and he quit because he was, oh yes, please, tiniest of violins. A member of the uh, People's Convoy that's been circling the Beltway around D.C. is not happy about the reception he's received from local drivers. He said, you go around the Beltway, birds are flying. Birds are flying everywhere. That's the kind of people that live up here. You know, it's a different world. D.C. is a different world. We're trying to straighten D.C. out. We're trying to clean it up. A lot of people flipping him off. He can't. Little snowflakes yeah. can't handle that. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. Right. And meanwhile, you see people in Ukraine still wearing masks as they're evacuating, being uh, bombed. Uh, because they care about other people. Okay, John. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. And we yes. were saying, meanwhile, we just, you mentioned during the break, Madison Cawthorn. I, I don't know what to do about the traitor caucus here. He literally called Zelensky a thug. I, yeah. I, I, you know, we have a group of Republicans still trying to stop aid to Ukraine. A small group of Republican lawmakers attempted to tie any Ukraine funding uh, to, uh, they tie it to military action on the U.S.-Mexico border. Representative Bob yeah. Good, that's, he's ironically named. Republican from Virginia. He said, uh, Joe Biden should handle the southern border before even thinking about Ukraine. Oh, my God. Paul Isn't that, Gos- great? Isn't that Paul- great? Yeah. Paul Gosar said, I remain firmly convinced that our open southern border. It's not. OK. Is the greatest threat to our sp- prosperity and security. As heartbreaking as it is, Ukrainian borders are not vital to our nation. Uh, yes, they, uh, the, the, the Republican governors yeah. have tried to store, score cheap political points by sending the National Guard to the uh, border, which has turned out to be a disaster. Uh, one, uh, the Army Times reported three soldiers have died in three months. The most recent in a DUI just five days earlier. More than a dozen troops have been arrested or confined for drugs, sexual assault, or manslaughter. Um, so one anonymous letter said, please wave the white flag and send us all home. Um, not only did Republicans send the men to the border without the necessary equipment, but they also assisted in less than one in five apprehensions. Republicans already suffering after it became clear their support of Russia in the fight was not the direction Americans went, while the lead up to the Russian invasion had Republican officials dominating the conversation with isolationism and GRU propaganda. Everything changed when the war began. And now they're just, they don't know what to do. Oh, here's Lindsey Graham. Watching Tucker try to backtrack has been incredible. Yes, and Lindsey Graham trying to say Madison Cawthorn is an outlier. Here he is, 16. Yeah. What Putin has done is done something we can't do among ourselves. Like 90% of the country is with the Ukrainians. Right. And as opposed to Putin. So when you see a member of Congress say things like this, the one thing I want you to know, they're outliers. Oh, really? In oh. the largest sense possible yeah, on our side. No, and there's no, some actually. on the left that are outliers. So let's end with this thought, that America believes that Zelensky and the Ukrainians are the good guys, and Putin's the bad guys, and we'd like to be helping the good guys more. Uh, yeah, Kevin America McCarthy, does believe. Kevin McCarthy said if they win back the House, he will elevate Marjorie Taylor Greene and all of these lunatics, right? Yeah, they're not outliers, first off. Right. Madison Cawthorn is not an outlier. He's the most Republican of all Republicans. This is a guy who lied about being accepted to the Naval Academy, who's got multiple accusations of being a sexual predator from other alumni at Patrick Henry College. This is a guy who just met someone in an illegal Russian casino, because those aren't legal in Russia. 
married her, and then just bizarrely got divorced after eight months of marriage to the woman he met in the illegal Russian casino. He's going to get thrown off the ballot in his home state for being part of the insurrection, and he's just been charged with driving with a revoked license for a second time. Right, because they don't... This is as cause good Lewis... as the party gets. Yeah. This is as good as they get. And by the way, he leaked that he leaked that tape. And they're all caught in this place now where they've got to try to make it about the racism. They've got to go back to being about the southern border because racism is the old reliable. Stephanie, you know this. If any of these politicians cared at all about the undocumented immigration at our border, they would start locking up the white people doing all the hiring. There is a gigantic help wanted sign at our border. There is no wall they can build that's big enough to hide the help wanted sign. But any politician of either party who talks about illegals but doesn't want to do anything about the white folks doing all the hiring is lying to yeah. you. And yeah. some conservatives are smart enough to figure that out. Yeah. But I was just saying that uh, Kevin McCarthy has said in trying to because he's so pathetic and wants to get the speakership so oh, badly. Yeah. He has said he, he said he will elevate Lauren Boebert, Madison Cawthorn, Paul Gosart, Marjorie Green. The, the Freedom Caucus uh, is, uh, you know, already. Yeah. The outliers you know, who control right, this party. Right. Yeah. And Jim Jordan in line to take over the House Judiciary. Oh, my God. With subpoena power. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. ever needed a reason to vote in 2022, right? The bright side of this is that becoming the Speaker of the House is the worst thing that could ever happen to Kevin McCarthy in his entire life. And it might almost be worth it to watch him twist in the wind and suffer and be a human pinata for his own evil party every day. <laughs> Um, by the way, I love how you deal with trolls on Twitter. Someone said, uh, hey, J how's Iran doing, Johnny? Obama gave them billions. Biden wants to buy their oil. And you just came back at him. It was Iran's money. Biden's not trying to get Iran's oil. The U.S. military still says Iran was in full compliance with the deal. This is one of the ways trolls deflect from Putin. The GOP stopped exploiting Benghazi and dropped the issue completely on January 20, uh, uh, January 20th, 2017. Thank you, John Fugelson. <laughs> I mean, that's all they've got, right? It's right. all deflection. It's all lying. It's all trying to distract from everything. They're doing this now with trying to blame Joe Biden for oil prices around the globe. High oil prices in Ireland and Brazil and Australia, all Joe Biden's fault. I mean, right now, there's a, and Joe Biden's calling it the Putin price hike. That's fair. He'll get about two weeks out of that. But right now, there's over 9,600 active leases for drilling on federal lands where oil companies could be drilling. And here's the real thing. They're not drilling. They could be. They're sitting on a record $46 billion in profit, right? Yep. They've used 40% of that money for stock buybacks to make their own executives even richer. And they're paying these shill politicians to distract us from this. The bad guys are big oil. It's right here. Yes. But I'm waiting to hear politicians of either party call them out for it. Uh, well, and also, by the way, John, it's not just oil. Consumer prices increased 7.9% in February compared with a year ago, right? Fastest in inflation surge since the 80s. Of their customers' continued willingness to pay more. That's what's yeah. happening. The top 30 companies in the major uh, industry categories of consumer price index have raised prices while con collectively boosting their profits by $151 billion. The companies also bought back an additional $28 billion of their own shares, a strategy to boost the stock price, which also happens to boost executive compensation. These companies would have consumers believe they marked up prices just to keep up with outside costs, but yeah. the 10 of billions in extra profits and generous giveaways to investors last year show otherwise. Oh, um, Russia's, those oligarchs. Yeah, those oligarchs. One expert, they got a good racket. Yeah, Russia's aggression is costing us all, but it's no time to, for profiteering or price gouging, said the president this week. The House, uh, Maxine Waters, devoted an entire hearing to it. She said, right now, we're seeing big corporations take advantage of economic conditions and a lack of real competition to pass higher prices on to consumers simply because they can. And you're right, John, where's the media on this? You know, it, it's inflation is. Well, the, the oligarchs own the media staff. Let's be honest. Not all shows can be as brave and fearless as your wonderful program you. and your deeply attractive audience. You. Uh, you know, the why do we call them oligarchs? What's wrong with evil, rich rat bastards? First of all, you know, inflation is a word that the oligarchs use to disguise their own greed. And these people are sitting on record profits. They're still jacking up the prices. And too many of the Democratic Party play along with this narrative. we got to call out. It's not attacking capitalism to attack a greed that is hurting all Americans right now. Yeah, yeah.